Welcome back to Stale Popcorn, coming to you live and completely pre-recorded from the comedy section here at the Civic Video 5 Dock, home of such movie classics as Weekend at Bernie's and of course Kung Fui, Quest for the Ancient Peach. Now it's time for what we humans do best, argue over what makes a DVD a must-see for Friday night viewing, or whether we just download it illegally and watch it sporadically while pretending to be filing at work. So for the first time tonight, we ask buy, rent, or rip. Our buy, rent, or rip review of the week is Judd Apatow's Knocked Up. And for those of you who missed it at the cinema, here's the pitch. Knocked Up would be one of a select few American comedy productions that actually works. Layabout loser Stone, played by Seth Rogen, lives to tell the tale of a one-night stand with beautiful Alison, Grey's Anatomy's Catherine Heigl, who is on the brink of greatness at the TV channel E! News. As usual with Buy, Rent or Rip, and in the general theme of stale popcorn, we leave the true reviews to our loyal viewers. So take it away, weird computer nerds with webcams. Uh, this DVD's great. Unexpectedly funny situations, especially the sex scene between a very pregnant Alison and a reluctant Ben who's really worried about the impression he's going to make on the unborn child. <laughs> this DVD is really funny for about an hour and then its script and direction are mugged by a gang far worse than either of these. You know, Tinseltown's got these people who want to ensure we all have a happy, happy ending, a Hollywood ending. So basically we end up in the maternity ward, all relatives and friends gooey-eyed after a scream fast delivery. There is nothing worse than sitting in your lounge watching a romantic comedy when the comedy is terrible and there is absolutely no chemistry between anybody in the film. My happy feet, I tell you just want to kick the crap out of the television. Next week's DVD review will be for Pirates 3 at World's End. So if you want to send in your movie review, simply forward us a YouTube link before Thursday at 5pm to stayorpopcorn at onionmedia.com.au. These days, it's difficult to associate movie going with style and panache. But most modern day cinemas, you've got to park five kilometres away, got to sit with a group of spotty teens while watching 30 minutes of lobotomising commercials and trawling through 20 minutes of trailers. But one such cinema is trying to keep the flame of the industry yesteryear burning brightly. Randwick Ritz Cinema in Sydney's eastern suburbs was first built in 1937 in the classic Art Deco style of the era. We've got uh, patrons coming here that came when they were three and four years old back in the, in the 30s and their children came here and their children's children. So, you know, generations of eastern suburb people have been coming to the Ritz for years and we're family owned. Um, and uh, have that local touch. There's plenty of life in this old girl yet, and Ranwick Ritz is definitely a tribute to the cinema of the past. So if you're a couch potato out there thinking that movie glamour is you on your beanbag in your underwear watching an Angelina Jolie flick, think again, because Ranwick is definitely putting on the Ritz. Well, folks, that brings us to the end of another cracking episode of Stale Popcorn. Next week, we'll be reviewing Hitman, I Am Legend and Cloverfield. But I'll leave you now with the winning 2008 Avsda Award DVD titles as brought to you by the Onion Media Performing Puppet School. See you next week. Hey everyone, do you like to go outside and have some fun? I do. Well that's after I've had a healthy breakfast. But you know what? Jeff likes to go outside and have fun. He likes to play. I mean, even dogs, if you watch a dog crap, even a dog is embarrassed to do poos. You know when they're doing the poo, they're all bent over like they're trying to root a cricket ball, but even they, even they get embarrassed. And in this case, a woman who carried a secret so powerful that if revealed, it would devastate the very foundations of Christianity. Well, what? Uh, Hagrid's looking for you. Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl! They're either a benefit or a hazard. If they're a benefit, it's not my problem. May I ask you a personal question? Sure. Have you ever retired a human by mistake? And they're squaring up for a duel. And when trouble starts, a smart Ibex knows that the best thing to do is to gain higher ground. You will not ever know the identity of undercover people. Unfortunately, this shithole has more fucking leaks than the Iraqi Navy. Fuck yourself. I'm tired from fucking your wife. How's your mother? And it's scary and awful and you can't handle it. Who says I can't handle it? You freaked out after just a few little hairs. You freaked out too? You lost your heart on. Shit happens.